Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Dan Blundell from Nano One Materials. How are you today? Great. Thanks. Appreciate being here. Well, I am so excited. This, to me, seems like your most disruptive news to date. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to try and sound cool here and say you've just rolled out your NMC 811. Is that what it is? A single crystal? This is where, this is where I need your help, Dan. Tell me about your news and what this means and why everyone's calling me and saying, Dan's doing it. He's going to get us a million, he's going to get us a million miles on our electric vehicles. Well, there's a lot to unpack there, but uh, yeah, you know what, NMC 811, 811 is of course just the ratio of nickel manganese to cobalt. Um, it's a sign of where the industry wants to take these materials. They want to lower the amount of cobalt for the for all of the supply chain concern reasons. They want to drive up the amount of nickel because that improves the energy density of the materials. But in doing so, these materials become less and less stable. Actually, they just don't last as long. You don't get as many charge cycles out of them. And uh, and it's the it's the stability, the durability that's really kind of holding back the uh, the commercialization of these materials. So our efforts on on NMC eight one one are to improve the durability. And the first thing that happens is that these materials um, tend to uh, they tend to fall apart in, in the battery when you're charging and discharging them because they react uh, with the chemistry. So you put a coating around those materials to uh, to prevent those side reactions from making the battery deteriorate. But in a more conventional cathode, actually, has the, the cathodes are kind of expanding and contracting as you charge them. So you're stuffing lithium ions in, it makes the volume expand, and then it contracts as you move the lithium ions in and out. And that causes the stress on this outer coating, and it cracks and falls apart. And as soon as it cracks, of course, you start to have the insides of these particles exposed to the side reactions. And so you have to solve not only the coating problem, you have to solve the expansion and contraction problem. And that's where the single crystal comes in. Single crystals um, don't really, it, it, it's, 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 one, it's one crystal with no kind of grain boundaries or anything. It's not, a, it's not an agglomeration of a whole bunch of particles that can fall apart as they expand and contract. It's one single crystal. And by, uh, by uh, making it into a single crystal, you can actually protect the outer coating. So it's the combination of those two things that's really important. So our news was about showing how uh, even with a single crystal, um, there is degradation. And if you coat that single crystal, um, you know, where that news shows that uh, the cathode material lasts four times longer. And that's really obvious. Obviously, that's very significant. And it shows that our coating is effective at, uh, at preventing these side reactions from happening. So how disruptive is this news really, Dan? What does this really mean for, you know, those of us involved in the electric vehicle market? Well, you know, there's lots of people. So coatings aren't anything new. And coating the cathode to protect it aren't anything new. The, the key thing here is that by having the single crystal and the coating and having an effective way to make the single crystal. So again, single crystals, uh, the, the idea of a single crystal cathode has been around for a while. But the conventional methods for making them are very expensive. So you want to spend as little time in the furnace as possible. And we've developed a way to do that. So our our crystals form very readily in the furnace and they self-coat in the furnace so you don't have to have a secondary coating process. So we've simplified the process, it's less complex, and that because the crystals form quickly, um, we get uh, an inexpensive way of making them uh, that doesn't have the downside of spending too long in the furnace. And that's actually the, really the key thing here, is that it's combining those, those, the ability to make the single crystals cost effectively and coat them simultaneously. And then it provides all those protections that I talked about a few minutes ago. Okay, so... If I understand you correct, and all of us shareholders are out here, we're like, okay, we're, we're, we're hanging on every word. This decreases the cost of the electric battery, correct? Essentially, um, by making the material more durable, which means um, it's going to fall apart more, much more slowly inside the battery, you're going to get many more charges out of it. Um, uh, the electric battery that goes into a car is, um, is somewhat restricted by the durability of the materials. If the material is not very durable, then you have to make the battery a bit bigger so that you don't so that you you, uh, you the, when you charge it you're not as uh, you're not as charging it as aggressively or you make the battery a bit bigger because you have to make it last longer to, to fit the warranty a more durable battery allows you to either you know drive a million miles uh, which is important to taxi drivers and buses and utilities and, and such or charge it very fast much faster because now the, the because the battery material is more durable it can take a more aggressive charge or, uh, or ultimately drive it a little bit further every day. So 
discharge it a little bit deeper, add a few more miles onto the daily range of the battery. <clears throat> so that's the key is that the durability allows any one of these possibilities to happen because it opens up this kind of envelope, this window to the battery designer to make a better, cheaper, uh, longer range, faster charging, longer driving battery. Any one of those possibilities becomes uh, a reality if you can make ultimately this battery more durable. Well, Dan, as always, it's a real pleasure. And again, congratulations on your single crystal news. It's very exciting. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate being here.